A new design for solar roofing from GAF Energy. Welcome to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from GAF Energy is President Martin De Bono. Thanks for taking the time, Martin. Thank you so much for having me. Well, tell us a bit of background first about GAF Energy. I think we've all heard of GAF. Yeah, so GAF Energy is a sister company to GAF. Standard Industries is the parent company and they're, they own the largest building materials companies in the world. In Europe, they own BMI. In the United States, they own GAF and GAF Energy. Um, in addition, they, have, they own winter properties and standard investments. And so you have this multinational that typically focuses on development and building materials, looking to clean energy as a future revenue source. And similarly, as a strategic initiative in order to ensure that if somebody else were to perhaps invent something that might displace roof coatings, that it's GAF energy. Well, you captured some headlines, good ones, at this year's uh, Consumer Electronics Show with the new Timberline solar roof system. So give us the overview here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, the uh, response, it, it exceeded our, our, our expectations. First, here you have the Consumer Electronics Show, which, as you know, is typically about, you know, these things, computers, audio, your car audio. And uh, we created a nailable solar shingle that we thought was just as much of an innovation and had, could have just as much impact on the way people live as everyday consumer devices. We launched it at the show and the reception was remarkable. Uh, we won best in show for a smart home. Uh, good housekeeping gave us the best of, and every, everywhere from the super technical to the super practical really liked what we did. And that's because we believe that we've created a, a solar roofing product that puts solar in the reach of just about every homeowner. It looks great. It goes on as fast as a regular roof, and it can pay you back over the course of your a lifetime. And equally important, it generates clean energy. So it can help us wean the world off fossil fuels. So describe for us, and, and we're going to show some, some images for people who are, who are viewing this. Describe for us how this is truly different and game-changing. Absolutely. So if you're not familiar with the shingle, the shingle is, you know, eight inches wide or 16 inches wide and 40 inches uh, long, and, and you nail it. Well, we've created this solar shingle. It's, it's, instead of being 40 inches wide, it's 60 inches wide, but it's the same depth, and you nail it up. It is literally a shingle. We've been able to embed energy generating capability on top of it. And it goes on just like any other shingle. Uh, you can walk on it. It has class A fire rating. It's hail resistant. And it looks fantastic. And the real innovation here is making a safe, reliable, highly efficient product that can go on very, very quickly. It took a lot of materials engineering and electronics engineering. And one of the keys to our success is Instead of using the large bulky panels that people typically use, we use smaller panels and smaller panels have a number of advantages, which I can share, should you be so interested. Absolutely. So what are the advantages to, to doing it this way over the, the approach that we've seen up until now? Right. So it's literally the approach that we've seen up until now is first invent, invented in the eighties. So think about technology for 40 years, that approach hasn't changed. You have very large, and in fact, they're getting bigger, flat screen TVs that you need to drill into the substrate of your home, literally the rafters. You're, you're poking holes into the thing that protects your home from water intrusion. Where ours, whereas our shingles just get nailed in and they shingle over top of each other. And so the penetrations are covered up just like a regular roof. So that's a tremendous advantage. The second advantage is, is if you have a lot of smaller panels, they tend to be more efficient. So for example, when a cloud passes between your roof and the sun, if it shades only a portion of a giant solar panel, that whole panel is degraded. But if you have multiple small panels, what happens is the number of panels that are impacted by shading is less on any given day, and you end up with a more efficient structure. Finally, the voltage of each of our panels is only 10 volts. 10 volts is a low voltage system. That gives us access to a host of electronics and other materials that you can't use in a larger solar panel, which is 45 to 50 volts. Lower voltage uh, components last longer and are generally less expensive. And so we're able to take this all up, package it into, into an offering where you're gonna get a superior product for the same price as you would with traditional solar with the benefits of it. it looks great, it waterproofs and it's backed by the world's largest roofing company. I guess the, the question is, who are these appropriate for? 
because uh, you're, you're replacing an existing roof or new construction, I suppose. But what about people who sort of fall in between and might be scratching their heads about this? Yeah. So these are really for people who are replacing their roof and new construction. And the thing is, 5 million people a year replace their roof. So let's say there's 100 million single family homes in the United States. Each year, about 5% of those get replaced. It's 5 million. So that's a fairly large uh, I'm sorry for your listeners. I have a dog. Well, that's just, okay. This is this away. is the age of Zoom. So. That's right. <laughs> so, um, what I was saying is, the if you're ready, if you just replace your roof, it probably doesn't make sense. As we are as we are uh, focusing just on the re-roof market. But the fact of the matter is, most people's roofs, as you said, if one in twenty roofs are replaced, like if you think within three or four years, that means you know twenty percent of people's roofs need to be replaced. So. Uh, that's a focus. And of course, new construction is another focus. What about the durability of these uh, in comparison to what is out there now with the panels? Yes. So the good news is that uh, they're, they're just as durable. They come with a 25 year uh, product warranty. So we'll warrant, you know, product for 25 years. So they'll last as long as your roof. The, the manner in which we've created them, they'll probably last a lot longer than that, but the warranted life is 25 years. Effectively, you have a solar cell that's sandwiched between some materials that last effectively forever, right? Uh, we have an encapsulant and, uh, and then we have a, a special layer on top. Uh, they're, they'll last a long time. So I'm not worried about them lasting. I think that what might happen is in 25 years, the uh, state of the art will probably be such that if you want, if it's time to replace a roof and most roofs themselves have a life between 25 and 30 years, there may be something better technically in 25 or 30 years from now, but um, I have no hesitation recommending these in terms of the warranty. Again, um, one of the challenges we faced in developing this product was while we're a startup, we come from a com company that's been around for a hundred years. I worked in a number of startups. And when you first put out your first product, you're thinking, huh, if who cares about how long they last? Because if we don't get this product out, you might be, we're not going to be here in five years. That was much different at GAF Energy. Whether we succeed or fail as a business, we know our parent company is going to be around in 25 years, they've already been around for over 140 years. And so for us, we had to overinvest in reliability in testing and in ensuring that we would never do any harm to the GF brand name. And so that's one thing I think is really a, a benefit to the way we approach this. And it's a benefit to people who buy it. You're, you're not only buying from GF Energy, which is comes up with this novel, highly technical yet simple solution, but you're also getting the support of standard industries and GAF, which have been around for a while. Now, am I going to get the same amount of energy out of these as I would from typical solar panels for the amount of area covered? Describe um, for get, me how this works. Yeah, yeah you'll get slightly less. And um, there's really one specific factor that results in you having slightly less output per area. And that is in traditional solar panels, first of all, we use the same cells. We use uh, called the monoperc cell. It's a highly efficient, 23% efficient cell. And those cells are what's called, they're put together in strings. They're literally soldered together in a circuit. And that, that is what our panel is. And that's what a big panel is. But in order to ensure that there is accessibility, we've put the electronics on the top side. They're under a very good looking cover. So if you see the pictures, um, most consumers, in fact, we've done a ton of surveys. An overwhelming majority of consumers prefer the aesthetic of our panel. But because our power electronics are on the surface, and that surface is not condu uh, conducive to generating electricity, we'll take up slightly more area, uh, about 10% more area for the same output of a traditional high efficiency panel. So you, does that mean we would need more area covered to produce the same amount of electricity? Yes, you would need more area covered to produce the same amount of electricity. But the, the important thing though is because those other panels are so big, you often there's often places on your roof where you can't put them. And so to the typical homeowner, getting that area is not an issue, right? With our smaller panels, we can, we have a high what's called fill factor. You can cover more of the roof with our panels than you could a larger panel. It's like, it's like putting rocks in a jar. You can only put a few big rocks in a jar and you have a lot of open spaces. Well, because we have smaller panels, it's like putting smaller rocks in a jar. You can fill up that jar more completely. But to answer your question, technically, uh, for a given area, a traditional solar panel will generate slightly more electricity than our system will. And that's due to the fact that we have some non-generating um, features on the top side. What about the, the installation process? Uh, there's a difference here too. 
in terms of who you're hiring to do this work and how long it takes, et cetera. Tell me about it. Yeah, this I think is the most important thing. Uh, as a homeowner who has lived with a roof leak and I had to get a roof replacement, you don't want anybody but a roofer on your roof, honestly. Um, so our product is designed for roofers by roofers and it's installed via roofing crews. And roofers are have one job and that is to keep your house watertight. And so that's important. And then because it goes on like a shingle, it goes on incredibly fast. Uh, I think that we may be able to share a video with you, or at least uh, I can I'm try to get it to you. Our solar systems install in half the time or, or less than a traditional solar system because they just get nailed in. So for a traditional solar system, you have to drill holes into rafters. You have to put cut steel racking. You have to ground it. You have to attach the power electronics on the underside. For our solar system, you literally put a shingle down, you nail it. You put the next shingle down and you nail it. And it goes on so fast. It's the first time I saw the system get installed, I literally got goosebumps. And as far as the benefits, incentives that uh, the governments uh, at different levels offer, um, these would qualify and I'm getting my roof as well. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not a tax advisor. Please talk to your, to your CPA. But yes, this, so these solar roofs qualify for the investment tax credit. And <clears throat> so you're able to get today 26%. If they build back better or any some form of it passes, it could be 30% of the cost. And so <clears throat> you're able to get the federal incentive. In addition, many states have additional uh, energy credits and these all qualify. Uh, so for example, um, you can save anywhere from 25 to 35% off the cost by going with a solar roof. And that makes a big difference. Very interesting. So tell me about availability of, of these and, and what typical costs might be. Certainly, certainly. So the availability is uh, we're available on the East Coast and California. Uh, we recently received our California Energy Commission listing. We had planned to get that in March, but after we got all the press, magically we moved up on the list. So really happy to report. So California, uh, East Coast and Texas is availability. And what's really important, I, I failed to mention this, is when we launched the product, we had already done installs, we had already pulled permits and we had already passed inspections. So this is legit, this is not vaporware. This is, we are building it today in our factory in San Jose. So very fact, very happy that this is assembled in the United States, made in America, but um, because we use our cells come from Thailand, or I should say, uh, we can't um, claim made in America, but it's manufactured and assembled in America. And um, it's available in those, in those areas I just mentioned. Very interesting. And the typical costs? Oh, sorry. Yeah, typical us? costs. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> if you were to need a new roof, so let's say it depends on country. So my roof was like $30,000. I live in California, high labor. I have a very steep pitched roof. But um, And let's just say you're going to get a typical roof is $15,000. And you're going to get a typical size solar system for that $15,000 roof. You're probably looking at another $15,000 on top of it. But then you get the incentives. Right, and the incentives can really drive the cost down. Uh, what what we have been telling everybody is, if you want to get a new roof and solar, you'll a, you'll be able to get a new solar roof at the same price as a new roof plus traditional solar, but it's a far superior product. And can you add uh, battery storage to these the way you can with the uh, other systems? Absolutely. So you can get battery storage. We offer battery storage through a partnership. But what's really remarkable about battery storage is once you realize all the hoops you have to jump through to get a battery, a lot of people choose not to. For example, um, if you have to want to install a battery in your garage uh, in California and in most states with the latest electrical code, you have to install like a steel post, like two feet in front of it. And so you really lose a lot of space. But that's that all said, we do offer batteries. But what we found is after we offer batteries, we talk to consumers about what the battery installation actually entails. Far fewer of them actually go for it. So there are different uh, different scenarios, I guess, depending on what people want from the system and how they might want it to perform. Absolutely. For more information, where do we go? The best place to go is gaf.energy. But also, if you're in the market for a roof, talk to your local GAF roofer. One of the nice things is GAF has over 6,000 roofers, and those roofers are able to uh, work with GAF Energy and come up with a an offering for you. Terrific. Again, it's gaf.energy is the website. Martin DeBono, thank you for taking the time with us. No, thank you so much. Really a pleasure.